There are more than 500 active volcanoes around the world, and that's not counting the untold thousands we know are under the ocean. I'm Dr. Maya Tolstoy. I'm a marine geophysicist studying seafloor earthquakes and volcanoes. The Earth has different layers. There's a very thin crust at the top, and beneath that is the mantle. And then beneath that, there's a molten outer core and then a solid inner core, which is metal, mostly iron. So a volcano is where molten rock comes to the surface and erupts. You see, just like hot air rises, hot magma from the mantle wants to rise. Normally, the crust acts as a cap for all this upward pressure and can contain it. But sometimes the magma can melt through the crust or the movement of the plates can open up weak spots in the crust where the magma can escape. Once the magma reaches the surface, it becomes lava. Volcanoes don't have to be mountains. Wherever lava is leaking through the Earth's crust is considered a volcano. So the majority of volcanoes are actually underwater. We just don't see them, so we don't think about them very much. One of the things that you see at the underwater volcanoes are these black smoker systems. And what that is, is that the seawater has gone down and picked up all kinds of minerals from the crust, particularly a lot of sulfur from the volcanic rocks. And so as it gushes out, sometimes as high as 700 degrees Fahrenheit, the minerals in the hot water precipitate in the cold ocean and create this black smoke effect. In the past, at places like Pompeii, we couldn't predict when volcanoes would erupt, and as a result, people would die in large numbers. But scientists are getting better at using what they've learned. We can often tell when an active volcano is changing in a way that indicates an impending eruption by measuring seismic activity, the vapors being released, and the shape of the volcano that can also tell you things about what the magma is doing beneath the surface. Some volcanoes are closely monitored, but we can't do that for every one of the hundreds and hundreds that exist. What we can do is to continue learning about the way the planet works so we can better understand how these destructive events occur.